Hey guys, I know this video seems to be long, but trust me, if you watch it and give me that chance and your time, I will tell you that this lead farming guide is ultimate. <laughs> uh, but gotta warn you, I did face a couple of uh, glitches while doing this video, and I did make over a thousand lead while making this video. So I'll cover a few points. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something new, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something you already watched. So let's just jump on the jump. <laughs> what the hell just happened? What are you doing here, man? <laughs> Alright, let's just enjoy the video. <laughs> hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, guide video. In today's guide video, we're going to talk about the ultimate lead farming. Now, I'm going to cover a few ways here. Some of them you might already know about, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be some that you don't know about so I'm gonna cover one specific event that gives me uh, lead ore which I can using the uh, camp station over there transfer into lead and actually a lot of lead so then I'm gonna show you my four locations where I stop by a hundred percent per day basically per 24 hours to pick up the lifting gears and that gives you a lot of lead two of them I'm pretty sure you already guys know about then I'm going to show you location uh, where you can uh, server hop and get lead really easy. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about that one. But I'm going to point out a few of those locations where you can do the server hopping things. But I don't really like server hopping. So I kind of try to make everything into one little roadmap. So I get to do everything just using one server. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But... I don't like server hopping at all unless if that's the case where I just have to <laughs> and uh, the final one will be a location where you can kill robots that obviously is a toga city <laughs> and uh, you can get a lot of lead and steel scrap from there so let's start with the event so the event is called uh, breach and clear right so breach and clear event they usually trigger uh, somewhere on the abandoned. Oh no 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 no, my bad. They, these ones, Hornway Testing Site Three. Then we got um, abandoned mines. So basically, they that this event usually triggers somewhere in this location. Now, when you're doing the event, by the way, I'm gonna show you a video clip on uh, what and how it works. Right, when you're doing the event, you get a lot of steel ore uranium uh i mean a whole bunch of them i'm gonna we're gonna do one uh, event here live on this guide video so uh you will see what rewards i actually got from uh doing that specific event so i'm gonna stash everything into my stash before i go and do the event so once we complete the event you can see what exactly you actually get now the most important is lead from there so lead uh, using chemistry station if you go to smelting you will see here uh, lead scrap so as you can see I have 53 lead ores and I can make them into lead scraps now have in mind that uh, super duper perk card also works here so let's say from one event you can get minimum of 50 if you're doing it on your own if there's nobody else there with you uh, you're gonna get 50 ores uh, divide that by 2 that's 25 multiply by 5 that's 125 lead scrap right that's already a decent amount uh, so if you do that event over and over and over and over again you will get your steel you will get pretty much all the things that you need so you get steel ore as you can see you got 100, 154 of them holy moly <laughs> uh, now the only issue with this is ever since I started doing this event I mean I never have ammo issues anymore uh, unless I just forget about it and in couple of weeks in a week time I'm like oh dude you're running out of ammo <laughs> uh, the only issue I started facing is acid but acid you can actually get workshops uh, and uh, get your acid with no problem or or if you uh, fast travel to this uh, Sylvia Homestead there is a place where you can get acid uh, like about 50 of it per day so you pretty much pick it up and as I mentioned you can get a whole bunch of other smelting materials uh, such as uh, black titanium 
I had a lot of these. I, g I gave them away. It's just I just don't need them. Plus, uh, Ultra Sight. I gave like over 200 ores to a friend of mine uh, because he's using power armor. As far as I know, that this thing is needed for the power armor. I don't need the power. I mean, I don't use power armor, so I don't even know what the hell this is for. All right, so let's start with the event. And a quick note, by the way, a quick note. If for example, if for instance, any reason you do not see the event popping on your screen, then it means that you need to complete the. Um, uh, the mother, the mother lord uh, event. This event, I mean, this event is a one-time quest. Can be started in Hornwright Industrial Headquarters. Cause I, I don't remember, but this event started uh, showing to me only once I completed this event. So I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. Uh, you see, the thing is, I tried to look on the internet. I wasn't able to. I, uh, like locate it but in any case just in case I would still recommend you to drop in here and do the actual quest here and then definitely you will have the event pop it all right so let me try to find that event all right there we go finally the event has just popped there we go breach and clear by the way just so you know uh, so Whenever I'm like server hopping or trying to find that event, usually I don't do that. Usually I just visit it every time I see it. But, uh, well, most of you know about server hopping and this one, Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. But, you know, this has been out for months and months now, right? So everybody does that. And there are cases when you server hop like a few times and those trash cans are never there. So what I do is I server hop in uh, another location in the eastern regional penitentiary there are nine trash cans uh traps that you can disarm and get about 81 lead per uh server so you can server hop and server hop and server hop right i'm gonna show you that once we get to the point but now let's go and dive into the event all right so here we are the event has started and uh what we need to do is clear the area from uh hostiles right so as I mentioned before, rem what? It disappeared? No way. Stupid lags, man. Stupid glitches, man. Hold on. This can't be right. I'm pretty sure that if I clear the area, everything will be good. Yeah, there we go. We still got NPCs over there. So just two of them. Let's take care of them real quick. And the event shall begin. Alright. So it's have in mind in some moments I'm gonna be speed running this because it, it, it takes a, a while <laughs> and just in case I want to show you that I did got rid of all the ores that I had pretty much I found some more <laughs> so now that the event has been completed I mean it's not completed yet uh, but we are waiting for this thing to pop by the way I've never did this event in this location before so we got uh, less than 10 seconds for the mining drill to pop from the ground, and the party begins. <laughs> so I wonder where the hell is it going to pop. And by the way, uh, if you're doing this on your own, you will get a lot of materials, including legendaries and including, I mean, this is just a lot. So once this thing pops, uh, you will need to unlock these boxes over here, right? So they will glow in uh, green color, means you can open it. Uh, like sort of orange color means you can open it if you have the key I'm pretty sure that oh there we oh no wait hold on what the hell is going on here oh there we go I think this one is all lagging out or something so uh yeah this one is sort of it happens sometimes so as you can see it requires a key honestly I do not remember where I got it so I cannot tell you that my best guess is you need to do the uh, event in the Hornwright Industrial Headquarters and then it should be working so I, as I said I've tried to find this online I was not able to do it so if you come across and you find out that that's exactly the case please do let us all know in the comments down below so everyone can do it but essentially okay this one is pretty bugged all other in other locations everything was so easier because as you can see that one is glowing green but it's not in freaking opening usually the color for the ones you can't open is red and the ones that you can open is neither orange or uh, or uh, bah, or green 
All right, I'm just getting. Yeah, I just muted the game as well so I can hear where the enemies, hostiles, etc. Because I, I like to have some uh, good background music on the background. So yeah, uh, and uh, the next unsealing, as you can see, it happens every thirty something seconds. So every time, also you will get uh, enemies trying to come to you, like that guy over there. Oh, by the way, I need food. Thank you. So what you do is is really really simple. Oh, simple. It'll be funny if I die. And by the way, I had to waste a lot of lead to craft ammo because I ran out. <laughs> so uh, at any point, I will speed run this moment, and we will do our calculations on the. Uh, how many how much stuff we got and then we're gonna go crafted by the way because I'm actually also really curious how much we all gonna get from all this stuff Alright, so uh, we completed the event and let's take a look on what we got. Uh, so we're going to Misk. By the way, remember that if you're doing it alone, uh, you will get a lot of uh, resources. So as you can see, uh, Black Titanium War 28, a little bit of aluminium. Um, then we got 7 Gold Ore. And most important, uh, Iron Ore 51, that's cool. And Lead Ore 59. Remember that. Uh, once you're going to be smelting it, uh, let me just have uh, the correct perk cards turned on. Uh, bam, bam, scrapper, scrapper. Uh, one sec, let me put that one. And the freak, that is okay. Super duper. There we go. Uh, my health is already under twenty percent. It should be under twenty percent. So, uh. I use Nut Rage to identify if my health is uh, below. Yep, it's all below. The thing is that I want to keep my specials on luck as ma maximum as possible. I'm actually going to uh, make it 30 right now, or even more. Because uh, uh, the more luck you have, uh, the more times that duper uh, per card triggers. Uh, one sec here, real quick. Where is my armor piece? I forgot that I should not be removing it. Uh, oh, there we go. It's just I have the one that makes me go invisible for survival mode. <laughs> without the without this chameleon, man, it's uh, really real. Oh, dude, I have another one, <laughs> and it's a two star. I actually looted it while I was doing this event. Lol. Okay, fine. Here we go. All right, so. Let's see how much lead we're gonna get from this. So there we go. As I said, you need acid and you need lead. So we got 60 lead ores and let's go. Ah oh, crap, my base is under attack. Jesus Christ. You can hear that by the shakes. I wonder who in the world would do that right now. Not another scorched beast, I hope. So if we go to junk, there we go. 200 lead just from one event. So in total, man, I have about uh, 500 lead. Uh, my, my, uh, wait. oh, I don't even have enough space to place it inside. Jesus Christ! So there we go. We got 533 lead, and we're still pushing to get more. So who in the hell in the world just attacked my freaking base? Uh, okay, there is. What the? A rat. A freaking rat, man. How? D Seriously? Alright, now uh, we got a little distracted over here. <laughs> uh, let's see what is... Oh yeah, next on the menu is the locations I spawn every 24 hours. Two of them you might already know, but I will just, just in case, we'll cover them as well. That's the uh, Green County Lodge. Uh, there is a gem over there that you can pick up lifting gears. Scrap it no far away and you'll get lead. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start um, from the two new locations that I've located. 
that would be the monorail elevator and the actual Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Uh, they have patched the uh, Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Most of you re might remember there is a training yard and there were uh, lifting gears on the floor before you could not pick it up. Well, now you can. <laughs> and uh, let's start with the cycle. Alright, let's start actually with uh, Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Um, a little change of plans. Actually, uh, Eastern Regional Penitentiary covers two topics at the same time of lead uh, farming. So I'm going to start with uh, Monorail. Monorail is located uh, to the left side, not far away from Batoga. So if you uh, navigate over here, you will spot in this location. What you want to do is you would you will need to run to the elevator over there and go to the upper floor. Uh, now, the only problem uh, with this is that there is no scrapping station that I found close to the location. So, uh, the only way how you can scrap all this stuff, uh, I wasn't like into 100% looking for um, a closest location. So, the closest I found was the Ford Defiance. So, over here besides lead. If you can if you can take a look here as you can see we got some uh, gear over here we you can also get concrete about 50 of it uh, what the hell I just freaking was here and uh, everything was was here I don't I don't understand this game sometimes look that thing reappeared what the hell this is uh, this is wrong Hold on, let me uh, restart the server. This is ridiculous. Alright, there we go. I restarted the server and more of them appeared, as you can see. Uh, this is, like, really strange. Uh, this game has been acting really weird today. I don't know why. So, as you can see, uh, more items have appeared. There's actually a lot more of these. Uh, I'm gonna make a little pop. Pick oh, you can! What the hell? No way! They must have patched it or something. I found a new... Lead source! What's up? This is insane. This gives a lot of freaking lead. Jesus. This is a freaking jackpot right here in the spot. I'm telling you. This never freaking worked. This is... Oh my god! Yeah, baby! There we go. Oh my god. This is definitely going into my... Uh, one of my favorite lap screen over there to show you... Um, the actual numbers or how much you can get here. I think, if I'm not mistaken, around uh, 80, I think. I really don't want to lie. Let me double check. So yeah, in the previous one I found it, we got managed to get 80 lead. This time we, get, we got 55. So I'm not sure what happened. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was 70 concrete and not 49. So as I said, that plays glitched out and I don't know what the hell is wrong with the game today. It's just the uh, things are appearing and disappearing today. It's uh, weird stuff, I'm telling you. So the next location we're going to do is the uh, Charleston Fire Department. So uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know about that position. So let's fast travel there and I'll walk you through just in case if you're new and you do not know. This is why I'd like to show it to you. And uh, it's loading. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, there's definitely something wrong with the game today. Uh, it's been loading like for three or four minutes. So once you uh, fast travel to this location, you'll end up right over there. All you gotta do is just run straight uh, through these doors, through this door over here, and you come right here, and we ain't got nothing. <laughs> Let's hurry up. All right, so here we are, and as you can see, here is more lead. By the way, I want to share a story with you right now. This is the weirdest thing ever happened to me while playing this game, and this... Uh, there you go! There you go! It happened just right in front of me. What the hell? This thing just disappeared. What the? I don't believe this, man. Oh my lord. What the hell is this bull? So basically, here's the story. I server hopped once. And there were two lifting gears over there. So I was like thinking, okay, you know what? Uh, let me record this. I was taking the position, you know, to kind of start like that. So when I uh, call uh, alt tab, 
to open my uh, OBS, start recording. I start rec uh, I didn't start recording at that time, but I switched my mouse and bam, everything is freaking gone. Everything is literally gone. I'm like, what the hell? And that that just happened right now. I, I didn't pick it up. This thing was literally here. It's just the what the f is wrong with this Bethesda thing, man. This is insane. What the hell did they do today? That is crazy. This is bull, man. I just picked those things up. Where the hell is my junk? What the hell is this? This is unbelievable. This is in freaking sane. What is going on? Jesus Christ. So basically, just so you know, if you come here, you will find lead. Let's I don't know, let's go to the next position and maybe I'm just going to cover them without actually showing these locations cuz this is like insane. You know what? L let me server hop. This is bull. By the way, I just server hop and my junk is here. I was actually wondering uh, why was my I had nothing in my junk list, right? So I mean, I had my lead. I scrapped it late because I was doing it. Th th there is something terribly wrong going on with the servers right now. I have no idea what the hell is going on, but this is ridiculous. Making a guide video on how to get lead and facing all this bull nonsense. So this thing is gone. Uh, luckily, thank God, my. Uh, my lead is here. Okay, I I don't even know what to say really. But basically, basically, just so you know, you can still find lead here in a lot of it. So what you'll need to do is just come here and scrap it. By the way, also make sure to pick up those paint cans. Uh, they also give you lead. It that is, man, I I, I lost. Aww. All right. The next location is in Flatwoods. Oh, great enemies nearby. All right, let, let us fast travel there. All right, so next location is uh, located in Flatwoods. If you fast travel to Green Carney Lodge, uh, if the, the gear is not there, we're just gonna skip it because I have no idea what the hell's going on with Fallout 76 on 2nd of April, because uh, things just vanishing. Just there we go. We got lead. Hey, <laughs> so let's pick it up. What the hell is going on? Uh, like, the hell is going on? You see, I'm playing muted right now, and I have no idea what the hell is going is happening. This is the weirdest thing happening to me today, and I'm being actually under attack. As you can see, that I can. Up here, and I know there's a cockroach here, but uh, okay, what the f it's just freaking vanished. Oh, hey, you go, cockroach! Hey, hey, how are you? You finally decided to show up. It, it Okay, let's see if we actually we got the loot because I have a feeling we didn't Can you believe it? We didn't This thing just vanished right in front of me and uh, I I got I'm gonna be honest with you here This is the very first time this thing is happening This never happened to me before and I really hope this will not happen to you So pretty much once you pick those up you just run straight and there's a lot of workbenches over here where you can scrap these now, due to all these inconveniences, Bethesda, I'm gonna skip out, I'm just gonna show you the locations. Basically, uh, by visiting uh, these four locations, right, so one in Monorail that I already displayed, one in uh, Charleston Fire Department, which I already shown you, one in, uh, in Green Carden Lodge, uh, which I just shown you, and the second one is an Eastern Regional Penitentiary, right? So over here, that's where we uh, start doing two things at the same time. Uh, the first is the uh, lift, gym lifting thing, right? 
Uh, there you can get about 80, if I'm not mistaken, lead uh, per take. Plus disarming the uh, tra uh, the um, tin uh, traps that makes noise, you know. So that is another one. Now over here you can get nine of them. So there's nine of them that I know that are very easy to find. And uh, sort of, if you just follow the exact same uh, routine as I do, and the server hop, you will be able to cover these quickly. Okay, there should be two over here, but they're not. That means someone has already did that. Uh, let me just run through and see if at least the lifting gear is here. No, the lifting gear is not even here as well. Uh, let us server, server hop. <laughs> Alright, so we server hop, and let's hope the... Uh, Cans are here because they should be. <laughs> and I'll show you the routine, plus, we'll be able to see whether if. Um... Okay, there we go. So that's one, that's two. As you can see, we get nine tin cans per trap, meaning we get nine lead per trap that you diffuse, right? The other good reason why I love this place, I wasn't actually uh, coming to it because I leveled up a lot, but now I'm going to start coming here again, is because there are super mutants and a lot of uh, cap stashes over here. So I really don't remember the locations because I, I stopped farming those ever since uh, the cap trigger thingy, luck find thingy stopped working, uh, I don't know, or whatever they did, it's just not beneficial anymore. Plus, it's uh, annoying <laughs> doing the same thing all over and over again. Oh, look at that! We found just one lifting thing and we can actually pick it up. Way. Well, but uh, usually, there's a lot, way more over here. Just a whole bunch of them. And these dudes just keep shooting me. So, a whole bunch of lifting gears you can pick up here and uh, scrap it right next door. And uh, for power armor users, you can also find a power armor here. If you go over here, and usually it's here. I mean, I've seen it a couple of times. Uh, yeah, so you come here and scrap. So let's uh, get back to the disarming uh, trash cans, right? So we already got two on the menu. So that's one and two over there. So if you run over here and uh, run over here, you'll get the third one. Then what you'll need to do is uh, walk inside this door right here, right? And you will find another uh, five. Yeah. No, six, six, six. You'll find another six camps. And obviously this works with each server hop. So uh, pretty much like in the location that we all know of, which is uh, this one right here, Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. But that place has been po po like popular for lead farming so long that now even if you server hop, uh, those cans are not always there. So that was four, five, six. And if we just run through, seven, eight, nine. There we go. So that should be 81 lead in total. And this thing you can do really quickly if... Uh, oh, 83. Oh yeah, maybe I picked... Ah oh, yeah, we picked this thing up. And plus it gives you a lot of steel as well. That's uh, 2 steel per can. So uh, that's 100 and something steel. Which is also very important since you, for ammunition you will need also a lot of steel. Plus it all depends on what type of ammo you're crafting. If it's a shotgun then you need plastic. If it's something something else, you can, in some cases you need uh, copper and other stuff. So basically, this location is a really good one for uh, just stopping by once and picking up these cans. And it's the best one because you got all the scrapping things right here in front of you, right? So uh, the next one obviously is the uh, one of the favorite my X locations where. I used to farm lead was this one it has been on YouTube for a very very long time right and now is like I've been trying to farm there again so uh, I had to like server hop like three times to get the location and get all the six cans it's only six that's like 50 something lead and you know I really don't like server hopping at all I just do the server hopping hopping when I'm doing uh, a guide video because it's a 
I have to. <laughs> well, not with this guide video, because there's a lot of freaking bugs going on that I've never faced before, so I can't even comment on those stupid bugs. Bethesda, what you doing with the game on the 2nd of April? Jesus. Oh, uh, man. My time, by the way, right now, it actually hit uh, the 3rd of April. Oh, look at that. The cans are here. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. So, <laughs> you spawn here. That's can number one. That's can number two. That's can number three. The other good thing about this place is uh, high level mutant mutants may spawn here and a three star legendary that I was uh, wanted just to mention. This is another good spot uh, spot in uh, facing uh, legendary um, enemies. Uh, I mean, if you server hop in this location a couple of times, you will notice that uh, a pretty decent amount of um, stalkers drag Jesus Christ 400 and I don't even have perks for this thing that is some cool stuff maybe I should redo my build a little bit for the one shot <laughs> so yeah usually a three star appears from these guys right here plus the super mutants why I love them they give the most XP plus they give uh, caps ammo and other good stuff so then if you uh, navigate over there, you should have... Okay, they are not here. So usually another three cans are over here and you will get even more lead. So this is another really good position to stop by and say hello. And uh, <clears throat> honestly, honestly, like there are others, other places with traps, but my favorite one is the... Uh, penitentiary first of all not a lot of people go there at this moment <laughs> I'm pretty sure that whenever this video is gonna go live and if you guys are gonna love it uh, many of you will start using that method and it will be up to me to find new farming methods <laughs> so um, there are more positions uh, by the way if you see this event going live make sure to visit that place because uh, I'm actually gonna go there there is a high chance that you will get. Uh, I mean, there's a like 99% you're gonna get a three-star legendary, and not only one. That's the beauty of it. So you can, it's like it's uh, like another what you call that event? Um, Jesus Christ! It's one of the most pop uranium fever. That's that's the one. So I'm gonna do this event real quick and. Uh, Actually, you know what? Let me let me finish off what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, so basically, f in a lot of uh, ski locations, sunny ski, these ones there are pretty much always traps, but not as many as uh, the locations are already covered. <laughs> Three star one, right just right there on the freaking spot. Jesus Christ, you gotta be freaking kidding me! Oh, dude. That is insane, there it is. <laughs> Ow, your crap has got a rocket launcher. Oh man, this is insane. What the, oh come on, this is bull. <laughs> oh. All right, and our video is coming to its end. The final location where you can farm lead and actually legendaries as well is in Vatoga. So, Vato oh, by the way, <laughs> that mutant that killed me, he dropped me a three-star uh, walking cane. <laughs> by the way, also from the event, the first time I got this nailer thing is weird. I think it's one of the nine or something. I've never seen such names for, like, meteoric uh, sword. This is also something new. Anyway, this video is not about legendaries. So, uh, the other location is this location right here. So you pretty much kill the robots and they drop you steel, they drop you, um, what else, uh, like circuits, oh there you go, legendary already. Uh, you, obviously you can find um, three stars over here, be careful they blow up, <laughs> the legendary ones I mean. <laughs> so. Uh, Sometimes it takes for them uh, a little moment to blow up. I don't know what the hell happened with the previous patches or whatever. This thing, they pretty much now instantly blow up. So if you're a melee build and uh, you got low HP, better, I don't know, shoot that guy instead of smashing him on the head. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to get blown up with him. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, oh, look, another legendary. Jesus Christ, this is insane. 
It's like just two two legendaries and no problem. <laughs> oh man, I I would laugh my head off if that would that guy would have been legendary as well. So pretty much uh, these guys, uh, you get more of uh, other needed stuff. Besides, there are uh, also assaultrons. Assaultrons, if you just run straight, uh, you'll find a couple of them there. By the way, uh, but as I said, uh, this place it's uh, sort of for the guys who want to get some XP, some uh, legendary finds, and other cool stuff, right? I mean, look at that. That's a pretty good amount of uh, XP. Fusion core, steel scrap, so all of that you get. But obviously. This is not the fastest way of getting lead. There are many other methods such as capturing workshops that give you lead or even the uh, armory um, workshop which gives you ammo and there is lead as well. So yeah, I mean I hope you found this video useful for yourself. I know it, it turned out to be a long one, not what I expected to be but with these sort of lags and everything it's just insane you know. And uh, didn't see this coming, so I'm gonna have to make a little edit in my intro video because uh, <laughs> it's a little bit insane. And warn you that there will be sort of uh, bugs in this uh, guide video. I do apologize for that. I've been waiting to do this video for a few days now, and it's weird that all this is happening. So, as you can see, Assaultrons they give you more cool stuff. Be careful, they're laser beams, especially don't come here if you're low level. <laughs> So yeah, and uh, in this place you can find and you will find legendaries, so you will be able to farm steel and uh, lead and etc. So it's all good. So actually now while I was doing this uh, video, I solved my ammo problem because I wasted my all of my, I think I had around 9000 ammunition for my AK. When I started this video I had like under 500, now I'm going to have a lot. Actually, you know, I'm going to show it to you in the intro. <laughs> I'm going to redo the intro, as I said. Alright, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, don't forget to leave that like. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell and leave your comments down below so uh, I'll be able to assist you. In any case, do leave your comments because I always get back to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And by the way, if you want to help the channel grow, consider uh, sharing this video somewhere in the media such as Twitter or Facebook. It really helps. And if you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. You have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like it at, and I'll see you later. Bye.